For USCFootball.com, I'm Keely Orr here with Coach KU. So it was a tough loss, but a good defeat, defensive performance. How would you rate this game for your team? I mean, a loss is a loss. Um, I thought we did a great job in competing, um, more so in the second half. Um, felt like the team uh, left a lot of opportunities to be successful and uh, to create opportunities later on in the game, and it was just unfortunate that we didn't execute. How would you evaluate the D-line's performance against a tough Ohio State O-line? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I like to think that we're a tough, you know, defensive line. So I thought they did a really good job in, you know, defending the run. I thought that, um, you know, we, we had a couple of uh, mental lapses uh, when it came down to the quarterback runs and, um, you know, and not, not really accounting for, you know, a really good runner at the running, I'm sorry, at the quarterback position. So um, all in all, I thought it was a solid performance, um, but there, there was so much, so much more we could have actually done to be more successful. Specifically what? You know, tackling the quarterback on the quarterback runs. More importantly, the one where we, you know, we had a great call towards the towards the the, the play, and uh, we didn't execute. And that was one where, um, you know, where you know we outrun the we outran the uh, quarterback, and he took off and he scored a touchdown. But you know, all in all, I thought the defensive performance, um, um, you know, played really well. Um, there were opportunities where you know we could have done a better job, and it's unfortunate that we didn't capitalize on. What was the mood during halftime? What do you say to your team at that point? Well, I, I really. I, the thing is, I coach my guys, you know, throughout the week. I coach my guys uh, on a day-to-day -day basis to where they know when they mess up. They know when they make a mistake. So I never get too high, I never get too low. I make sure that I give them all the information, and when it comes time to coach them, coach them hard and aggressively, I do so. Um, the message was great at halftime because uh, the players, you know, were the, the, the focal point about it, and they knew that they could play better. And um, it's just unfortunate that in the first half we got behind by too much uh, against a very good Ohio State team. What have you seen from Brandon Peely this season? It seems like he's progressed from the beginning. What have you seen as far as his growth? Brandon's done a really, uh, a really solid job in taking the coaching. And that's one of the hardest things when you see an incoming freshman. They come in and their eyes are wide open. You know, the, the speed of the game, you know, is, 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 is really fast. And so when you see them start to, you know, uh, mature and they start to make plays, you, you know, it's just a testament to, you know, the commitment that they make to, you know, what we're asking them to do and then, of course, executing. So. I'm really happy that Brandon um, has made the strides that he has, you know, this uh, freshman uh, season, but he has so much more room to grow. Malik Dorn is another guy who's, who's had a, a lot of potential in, in growth this season. What do you see from him, and, and what will you expect from him next season? The same thing that I saw this year. Malik does an amazing job um, being a technician. Uh, when you're a smaller uh, defensive lineman, you know that you have to be more efficient. You have to be, you know, uh, you have to be really more effective in, you know, the way you attack people and the way you manipulate yourself and get off blocks. And, and really, you know, Malik is, you know, one of the better stories, I think, not only in, in our room but on our team because Malik didn't start off um, in the best position. Malik has worked his butt off. He's shown not only myself but, the, you know, his teammates that he's accountable, He's dedicated, and more than anything, he's going to give you everything he got. And that's one of the things that I love about the young man. And whether it's, you know, playing here at USC or, you know, moving on and doing something, I, I have no doubt that he's going to be successful in a lot of things other than football. You're in the booth. During games like this, is it frustrating not to be on the sideline to, to talk to some players? It's beyond frustrating. It's beyond frustrating. I'm never um, going to gonna shy away from that. Um, I, but, you know, if I'm asked to do something, um, I do it, and I do it for the betterment of the team. But I'm always going to be a defensive line coach that wants to be on the sideline. From a coaching perspective, where do you go from here since it's the end of the season? How do you kind of – you had a successful season. How do you turn the page? Well, I'm never satisfied. Um, I mean, really, I'm, I'm never satisfied. Um, probably as two minutes, you know, was riding down in the game, I started thinking about, you know, what's the next thing I should do? What's, what's the next, you know, thing that I should put in front of our D-line? You know, how can we get better? Because I'm not a fan on being the same person every day. I'm not a the fan of, you know, being the same, you know, guy every year. I want to be, you know, better. And that's something that I want these young men to understand, especially up front. You know, don't rest on what you've done. You know, rest on the process and becoming great. You know, and um, they, they've done a great job up until this point. But, again, we should never be satisfied in what we've done up to this point. So for you, does coaching ever end? Is it just a continuous process? It never ends. I'm going to be texting people tomorrow. I'm going to be, you know, back on the phone uh, when my guys call me recruiting. And just um, it never stops. So that's one of the best things about, you know, college football. Uh, these young men need me and I need them. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you, Keely. I appreciate it. With Coach KU, I'm Keely. You are for more. Check out uscfootball.com.